Terrified for their families in Ukraine and calling for help from the West, the protesters had one person in their sights. There's no need for this aggressive, unwarranted invasion of Ukraine. It's a war, it's nothing else. Ukraine doesn't need any more words of support. Ukraine needs an actual help. For many in the crowd, the conflict is deeply personal, with family unable to escape. They stayed in place, yeah. We have uh, grannies who can't uh, move, who can't run, you know, so they have to stay there. And uh, they just prepare the essentials, they prepare the documents, uh, med med medicine. The crowd included Russians supporting Ukraine, those of Georgian descent and the Free Tibet movement. One lone dissenter had to be removed by police. <laughs> And as protesters addressed the embassy staff in Russian, the embassy was also keeping tabs on the situation. Many of the speakers pointed to the future dangers for Europe. Frustrated sanctions will be too slow. We need help now, immediately, because within a few days more, it won't be Ukrainian government if the Russia took over, it will be too late. The head of Canberra's Russian Orthodox Church has condemned the invasion and says ordinary Russians in his congregation are shocked by developments. I think there was a feeling, or is still a feeling, of disbelief uh, and, and, and then a feeling of devastation which we share with the Ukrainian community. I can't sleep at night, you know, I can't uh, concentrate on any other stuff, you know, I can't work, I can't think about, you know, like my regular life because I can wake up. And I'm just checking if my country still exists, you know. An anxious wait, unlikely to end soon. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.